XMR, we start with one of our charts. Just I want to give a quick update. First of all, if you refer to my last analysis, since the price was then this move, we mentioned we're looking if we get any opportunity for buy, we will take it. We mentioned we're looking for one move up, similar to what we get here, because we have been looking for this one as a flat. And this is what we get. That's why if we mention if you get any opportunity for buy, the first level we're looking for is 247, following by 254. As you can see, even the price broke the 254. And for those traders, they get the trade. If they want to keep the trade, at least move their sub loss to break even because the what the levels we have been looking for already the price tag and the broke. No one see what's the next. Anyway, we move to daily chart, and based on daily chart, we have been looking for the reversal. The only question was this one was quite different from the other charts. We mentioned whether we want to call this one as a tree wave and this is the start of the reversal or this one can turn to a long running flat, including the tree waves. Since we didn't have a divergence, we need to know may this one consider as a second option. All right. If the price couldn't continue, we need to be quite careful about this possibility. Anyway, if we move to forward chart and we want to see what's the next based on forward chart and the only thing is if there is a continuation, Based on higher time frame, the next level we're looking for is 276, somewhere near to the previous top. With the break out of 276, we can look for 290. That's meaning we want to see whether the price can break this zone or not. But again, as I mentioned, we have been looking at this one as a flat, as a one, two, three. May this one, the bigger picture, can turn to flat as a correction for one more drop. This is where we need to be quite careful. That's meaning if you want to look for buy from now within this range, as long as the price haven't broke the previous stop any trade we consider as a short term because of the possibility this one turn to a correction that's why for those traders they get the trade within this move if they want to keep the trade they don't want to take out in the profit at least move their stop loss to break even or book some profit and how, even if we move to one hour chart if you put this stop in relative to the previous one we see we have a divergence based on MACD and even here. That's why we need to be quite careful. Anyway, still we can look for buy, but what I can see here, it doesn't give me a trade setup. We need to wait for the flag or correction. Another few hours, if we get any opportunity, still we can look for continuation. And in this case, the next level we're looking for, if we get any trade setup, we need to see whether the price can break 276 or not. Anyway, Still, we can look for continuation, but at the same time, we need to be quite careful about this possibility. And again, if we see there is no continuation, we see the rejection. If we want to look for sell, the only way is if we get any sharp move flowing by correction, this is where we take out the trade or we get, even we can look for sell. Anyway, we just follow the chart. We don't see a really good trade setup. The only thing says for those traders, they get the trade from here, at least move their stop loss to break even. Or having entry above this option in case the price continues as a sharp move can be an option, but we should know that since we have a di divergence, if the price tag and we see is not moving in our direction within the first or maximum second hours, we take out the trade. That's why we prefer this one turn to a deeper correction before we take the next trade, either as a flag or correction. Anyway, we just move follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.